Welcome back. Now let us proceed with your environmental issues. Now, here we'll start by looking into the employer's responsibility in promoting human health and safety in the workplace. Because we're talking about environmental issues, which has to do with pre preserving the environment and protecting the environment, together with protecting the human health of the uh, employees. Now, let us start with the first part, the employer's role in promoting health and safety of the workers. So what is the responsibility of the employer? One is to provide and maintain all the equipment that is necessary to perform the work. So the employer, the business owner, should provide and maintain all the equipment that is necessary to perform the work. So equipment means the machines used has to be maintained so that the business can be able to function properly and this would help employees to be safe because if the machines are maintained it means now the employees would be safe. Number two, equipment must be used under the supervision of a designated trained worker. So this focuses on this picture here, safety first. So Equipment, especially equipment that is dangerous, must be used by someone who's trained. If not, the person who's trained should supervise those who are not trained when they're in the process of using that machine because that is promoting human health and safety in the workplace. Another way is to keep the systems to ensure that there will be no harmful impact on the health and safety of workers, meaning machines and whatever that is being used together with their raw material, because some raw material might be chemicals that would be very strong for the employees. So those should be kept in a safe place. Hence, we're talking about a system, which is a way the business would be doing things. So it should be done in a way that it allows safety to always be there, especially for the workers, because this is the responsibility of the employer, meaning the owner of the business. This is their responsibility to make sure that systems are there and whatever systems that are there do not harm the employees or workers. Then, they should reduce dangers to workers and provide personal protective clothing. So they reduce danger for the workers and also provide the workers with protective clothing, meaning clothes that would protect the workers. Now, and then another responsibility of the employer is to ensure that emergency exit door signs should be visible to all employees. As you can see, we have signs here. So all these signs have to be there so that employees could be aware. Now, we move to another aspect. The roles of health and safety representatives. What are your health and safety representatives? These are a group of workers that would be chosen to monitor the safety of the working environment to make sure that the working environment again is safe. Now let us look into their role. What is their role? Their role is to identify potential dangers in the workplace. Remember I said this is a group. This is a group of workers. A group of workers who are basically volunteering to make sure that they keep the environment safe. Hence we are saying they are health and safety representatives. They are within the organization. So their role is to identify potential dangers in the workplace, is to also uh, investigate workers' complaints, and is to also check that or ensure that the employers comply with COEDA, which is Compensation for Occupational Injuries and Disease Act, an act that talks about making sure that employees are safe and would be compensated if they happen to get any injury in the workplace. And they should also ensure that protective clothing is provided. Remember, the responsibility of the employer is to provide the, the, way, the, 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 the protective clothing. But the roles on health and safety representatives, their role now is to make sure that the protective clothing is provided. So they are checking if the employer really, really gave the employees the protective clothing. That is their role. Now, we look into the employee's rep uh, responsibility now to say, what is your responsibility as an employee 
in making sure that you promote human health and safety in the workplace. So here we're talking about workers. So the responsibility of the employee in promoting human health and safety in the workplace, one is to make sure that they use prescribed safety equipment. As you can see here, we have gloves, we have glasses, and we have also safety boots. So that is one. And then they should report accidents to the employer by the end of the shift, that is one. Two, workers should take care of their own health and safety in the workplace. That is another one. And they should inform the employer of any illness that may affect their ability to work. If they feel that they are not fit enough to work, they should inform the employer so that they don't come to work because that can lead to their human health being uh, uh, compromised. Then another one is that they should cooperate and comply with the rules and procedures. For example, by wearing prescribed safety clothing. As you can see there, those are your prescribed safety clothing to say before you work, those would be the requirements in terms of the uniform you should wear. Then we look into the last part, which is ways businesses may use to protect the environment and human health. Now, ways businesses can protect the environment and human health uh, of, in the workplace. These are the ways. One, the business should make sure that machines must be safest and maintained on the regular basis. That is one. They should educate people about hygiene issues. And when you're talking about people, you're talking about employees inside the workplace. And then another one is that they should encourage employees to do regular health checks. That is another one. And then number two, water for human consumption should be tested before it can be used for the issue of health of the workers inside. And then they should minimize pollution by reusing, reducing, and recycling any material that can be recycled. So remember, these are ways in which the business is protecting the environment. As you look into this, this is protecting the environment. But when you're talking about the employees doing regular health checks, this is protecting human health of the workers in the workplace. So with that being said, you should be knowing now that we have diversity issues. You should be knowing that diversity issues have a benefit to the workplace or to the business because the business is able to solve problems very fast because they have diverse and people from different cultures who bring their different knowledge. And then you, we talk when we talk about now environmental issues, you should keep one thing in mind to say we have the responsibility of the employer to say what is the responsibility of the employer? They should provide uniform and make sure that machines are safest. And then we have the responsibility or the role of health and safety representatives who are there to monitor, investigate, and identify potential dangers in the workplace, then we also have the responsibility of the employees or workers to say workers should wear uniform and they should make sure that now they take care of their human health in the workplace and they should also make sure that they report any accidents that may happen within the uh, environment before the shift ends. And then when you are looking into the last part, is now ways in which the business can protect the environment and human health. Environment talking to outside and then human health talking to the employees inside. So we had, that's where we are talking about making sure that they do recycling and reducing and making sure that water for human consumption is tested before it can be used and also make sure that employees do regular checkups. That way they are promoting human health and protecting the environment. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Keep well.